Hi, I'm Jenny from Chaos Springs. Welcome to our farm. In the last 30 years, we've developed a few simple and innovative systems to improve soil function and fertility. I'm the farm manager with a degree in horticulture. I oversee the management of animal grazing, orcharding and vegetable production. My husband Steve takes care of soil and plant management, composting and equipment production. We invite you to look at our systems. We believe that they will help improve your farm management, production and profit. Hi, I'm Steve from Chaos Springs and today we want to talk about soil dynamics. This is a term that's normally used to describe the geological function of the soil, but it's very well suited to describe the interaction between the soil biology, minerals in the soil, and the plant. And the plant is really the driver of the system. It does this amazing thing called photosynthesis, where it turns carbon dioxide in the air into carbon in the plant and carbon in the root, which feeds the soil biology as it dies and breaks down. It also has another process where it converts carbon dioxide into a liquid carbon, which it turns into an exudate that pushes out into the soil and directly feeds the soil biology, the bacteria and fungi. And in exchange for that, the, the bacteria and fungi and other organisms bring nutrition back to the plant, things like calcium and phosphorus. So, this is the really important part of soil management that needs to be understood so that the rest of the story can happen. Now, in soil, we want to be able to manage the various organisms in the soil, and we have a selection of them that we need to understand. Bacteria is the first one. It's the main driver in the soil. Fungi is the second one. Fungi has different functions, including um, storing minerals and um, helps with the plant with disease suppression. And then you have a couple of other categories, uh, protozoa and nematodes, which eat the bacteria and fungi and cycle their nutrients into available forms for the plant. Now, if we're gonna manage this system, what we have to think about is the biology and the minerals. And the easiest way to manage the biology is with compost. And there are a variety of ways to do on-farm composting, or you can buy compost. Um, and compost gives you not only organisms, but it also gives you food for organisms. So when you apply compost to your land, you get a double hit, at least. Minerals are really important in the soil, and there's a variety of minerals that plants and animals need. And so we have to be sure that we have adequate minerals in the soil. And probably the easiest way to put those on is through just application, either dry or liquid. Now, in order to figure out what it is that you're going to put onto the soil, um, you probably need to do some kind of testing. And there's a, a variety of tests available to farmers and gardeners, and the first one is a soil test. So you can do a simple soil test, and that will tell you what your mineral composition is in the soil. Herbage tests allow you to see what of those minerals are coming through to the plant, and then you can do a biological test to tell you what organisms that you have in the soil and if you're lacking any particular sp uh, species or if you're lacking any category of organisms. Um, another hands-on tool that you can do that's very helpful is called a visual soil assessment. And that can be done on farm by the farmer or the gardener by simply digging holes and looking at the soil structure, the smell, uh, the worm counts, and that gives you real indi good indication of how your soil is functioning, okay? So this is probably all sounding a little complicated, and it is very complicated, um, but there's some simple ways that you can um, manage all of these systems, and we've put together five key strategies that we advocate in order to kind of break it down and, and give it a simple, a simple method. The first one is uh, precise uh, farm composting, and there's a whole variety of methods you can use there. The second one is um, farm-specific plant extracts. We actually grow or pick plants from the farm. We do simple liquid extractions, and those are food resources for the organisms. Um, the third one is appropriate crop rotation. If you're doing um, market gardening or cropping, it's important to understand that different plants play different roles in the soil, and you want to rotate those and try to never grow the same thing um, twice in a given place on your farm. 
Uh, the fourth method that we advocate and practice here at Chaos Springs is accurate grazing management. Um, we're big advocates of long rotational grazing and long grasses. This allows the plants to feed the soil properly and it allows also the plants to seed and uh, build the seed bank in your soil. Our last category is energetic management. That's the simple positive and negative charges in the soil along with the electromagnetic fields that surround both the soil and the plant and are in the atmosphere that affect plant growth. Um, we practice biodynamics, but there are many methods that you can utilize. It sounds complex, but the application has to be very simple. Um, there are really two ways you can put uh, soil amendments and fertilizers on. You can put on solid fertilizers, and that's usually minerals like lime or phosphate. Um, and then you can put liquids on, which are usually sprayed on uh, onto the plant foliage, and those are things like fish and seaweed, or there's quite a wide range of biological inoculants. We've developed the Cyclone Multitask so that you can do both of those together in a single form. We can take solid mineral fertilizers, usually finely ground, we can put them into our sprayer um, up to a 50% solid mix, so you're spraying out a slurry, and with that we can mix any number of biological inoculums to give you a complete fertilizer program uh, with a single application. If you want to know more about how that system works, um, watch the next video. That kind of gives you an idea of how the system is put together, and the further videos show application and um, the options that you have.